Hey there YouTube. First of all, I want to thank you for dropping in and watching today. I recently went to my local Woods grocery store, did my grocery shopping, and this is not it. I'm sick of watching videos where people go grocery shopping and they show us putting their food into their pantry and then they eat it all up and then the next month they make another video and they do the same thing and everybody watches the videos and they think it's the greatest thing. I want to see videos of where you're putting food into the pantry and you're not eating it up. So I decided to make my own. Uh, I spent right at $280 but I bought groceries for the house and everything that I bought for the house is in the kitchen. This here is my prep for woods. I seriously believe that the world is going to shit. And I can say shit because my videos aren't money lies. I don't get paid for any of this. I have 575 subscribers and I appreciate and love every one of you. Uh, my goal is to shoot for a thousand subscribers so I can get money lies and start making some money off my YouTube videos. I mean, let's face it, we all start just for fun and then when we find out we can make a little money, that's what we want to do. So let me go over what I got here today. I know you can see, I know you can read, but let me explain it to you. And I'll set it off to the side, and then we got a little something special going on here in the background for you, everybody out there that makes it through the video. I am one of the individuals I suffer from gout. And if you don't know what gout is, it's really hard on you when you, when you eat certain foods like tomatoes, which I love, pork, which I love, meat, uh, any kind of red meat, which Waylon here, I love it. So I try to find little ways to cheat where I can get my meat without having a gout flare up. And uh, I know with the wheat shortage going on, I'm just not seeing no shortages in my area at all. Other than a certain stores, people are buying up all the pastas. So I bought, this is American Beauty, and this is Best Choice. Uh, hollow noodles, mixture of three different kind of noodles. This is called the trio. I have the uh, the one she's halving macaroni, the little uh, hollow tube noodles, and the spiral noodles. Uh, Kini Rigatti. Did I say it right? Because I don't have a clue. I got a uh, 16 ounce bag of it. 16 ounce bag of it. Because all I need to do is boil water to cook those noodles. I'm going to set them right over here for now. And then I got this couple packs of the brown gravy mix. Because I'm thinking how cool would it be to mix up the beefy flavor of this best choice brown gravy mix. Reduce sodium 30% for everybody that has high blood pressure. Reduced sodium is always good. So I picked up four packs of this to mix up and to put over the noodles to get that uh, beef stroganoff kind of a dinner. That was my thinking. Then I picked up, while I was standing there, two packs of this McCormick's beef stew mix. Now this was $2.37 a pack, I think it was a little pricey, but I was trying to figure out how I could use this. So I read the ingredients, and made with soy protein. There is no beef protein in this at all. So I was thinking I could take a can of mixed vegetables, add some water, and uh, add a couple packs of this with some black pepper and some various seasonings and how vegetarian oh shit i got gout 
beef stew. So that's my ideal. So I got two packs of this. I picked up two cans of the Southgate pre-made breakfast gravy for campfire biscuits. It doesn't keep a real good expiration date. It's about two years. This is good until uh, the middle of 24. And I've had it before. Uh, I'm careful how much of it I eat. There is a lot of big chunks of pork in it, but luckily I can pick a lot of them out. And the dog usually gets the pork, or else I just let, the, let it go onto the kid's plate. Let's see what this is up here. Couple, uh, always same canned chili. Uh, whenever I go to my local wood store, I always buy every can of this on the shelf. $1.25 a can. The kids love it. I don't eat it. But I'm not just shopping for just me and my family. I'm shopping for anybody that is going to end up showing up at the retreat that doesn't have any kind of food or anything. I want to be able to feed as many people as possible. And for $1.25 a can, it's just good, good, good ideal. But you can't, you can't just stock all meats, you know. So I picked up two more cans of the mandarin orange, which is a good source of vitamin C. Aye, and if you're a pirate captain, you got the scurvy. Vitamin C. So mandarin orange slices. And these are the solid metal top of the cans. And I'm weird about my cans. I like to buy the ones that are, you need the can opener to open these. You'll notice every can up here. None of these are easy open. Because I believe that they are designing the top of those easy open cans. That if there is a nuclear blast and you get a blast wave. And you have an overpressure. Uh, I'm not going to get into overpressures and all that stuff from a nuclear blast. If you don't know what it is, you can look it up. It's basically the air temperature. I mean, the air pressure changes. And I think that the lids are designed to pop open from the overpressure. Therefore, contaminating all the food in your containers. And exposing them to air. And the food will spoil. So, whenever I see a can, even if it's a little more, if it's got this solid lid on the top without the, you know what I mean? I'll buy this, even if it's just a little bit more. You can drop these on the ground. You see it dented it? Right here? If you got the lids that go, that peel off, that right there will break your seal. On those cans. Do not buy those type of cans. If you can avoid it, get these. I have crushed pineapple. This is a larger size can than these. These are standard anywhere between 12 and 15 ounces, depending on what's in it. And this is a pound, four ounces. But this is pineapple. And this one is chunk. This one's chunk. And this one, they didn't have any more chunks, but it's weird because this is the slices. And the slices is one pound, four ounces. And the chunk is one pound, four ounces. So I got three large cans of pineapple. And in a survival situation, if you don't have cough drops and you have a bad cough, pineapple juice, uh-huh, listen, listen. Pineapple juice is a natural cough suppressant. Don't believe me? Try it. You're laying there in bed. You're hacking. You're coughing. You need to drink the pineapple juice. Eat the pineapple. Not only is it tasty, but it will help your cough for sure. Uh, I picked up this 100% pure coconut oil. You don't really want to eat it plain, but you can fry with it. Shrimp are really good if you fry shrimp in this. Any kind of seafood is good in coconut oil. Uh, does expire though. 
So I got and it, the jar is plastic, so when it's empty, you can use it for a cup. I got the kids are bad about drinking these generic two liters. I got one of orange. Run a fruit, one of fruit punch. Now I would not recommend sitting these back for a real long time because they're carbonated and I, I believe they will go flat. But no reason why you probably couldn't go six to nine months on these. And these are on sale for uh, I think a dollar twenty nine a bottle at my local woods. Picked up some dry powder potatoes in the pouch these are what's called loaded we all like these I got five of these these do not have as good of a shelf life as the ones that are non buttered but best is used by uh, November of 22 and that's because they got dairy in them but I'll rotate them out on down the line so I got five of these to set back and of course there's the old standby pinto beans which the shelf was completely full of these this is a four pound bag it came up to a dollar and nine a pound I remember because I looked it up when I figured it up when we were in the store or when I was in the store I buy some of these every time I go because there's going to be a lot of mouths to feed when all these stupid people that aren't prepping show up. I got two metal containers, a black pepper with a snap-on lid. One side you can shake, in the middle you can uh, scoop, and this edge over here you can pour. But when these are empty, uh, these are great for seed storage to uh, keep the animals and rodents from uh, getting into them as easily and eating your seeds up. Or you make little spice shaker boxes out of whatever the hell you want to put in them. Maybe grow some cayennes in your garden and you want to have a shaker box. These will work great. So I got two of those black peppers. Now all this is going into a box and it's getting shipped down to our our third uh, backup spot down in southern Missouri. We have a, uh, a friend of ours, a family friend that we met here in our town. And she just bought a place in the country. And all of this stuff is going to a different location just like the last box. Uh, one of my favorites. Sweet Baby Ray, baby. And uh, this was actually really decently priced for $1.29 a bottle. It's one of my favorite barbecue sauces. Not the favorite, but one of my favorite barbecue sauces is Sweet Baby Ray. So this is the sweet and spicy variety. They have a whole big chain, a whole big selection of different kinds of Sweet Baby Ray. I highly recommend that you try it if you have it. If you haven't tried it already, I stay away from craft. I don't like the craft. Uh, got two jars of olives. Now, when you store these at your remote location, you got to be careful because they're in glass and liquid freezes. There is a lot of salt in these, but olives will still freeze and break the jar falls off the shelf, you have an earthquake, set this down low on your storage area because it will freeze, it will break. But I got a jar of green olives because everybody loves them. These aren't normal refried beans. These are vegetarian refried beans, which are fantastic when you have gout. There you have it. I'll buy a lot of stuff like that that is vegetarian. I'm not vegan. I don't eat a whole lot of meat. I do eat a little bit of meat. I eat a little chicken broth, a little beef broth to keep my protein levels up. But I got three cans of this, vegetarian, refried beans, and they're actually pretty good. No, I do not add salt to these. So I got three cans of those. 
keep in mind this is not my groceries this is stuff that we are setting back and even though it's costly all of this will be put into a box addressed i have a p.o box in southern missouri i, I will ship it to the p.o box and it can stay there for up to a year i'll make a phone call and I have a lady that goes and picks up the package, readdresses it, and then ships it to our remote location. So it doesn't go directly from the P.O. box to our location because I have her pick it up, take it with her, readdress it, take it to the post office, ship it out to our primary third location. These are always safe. These are apples in a can. These are delicious. They got a heavy syrup on them. This is what a lot of ladies used to put in when they make apple pies. And they don't want to spend all day in the kitchen cutting up, peeling, and washing, peeling, and cutting up apples and making sure there's no seeds in it. It's already done for you. It's got a nice expiration date on it. It's probably good way past the expiration date of, of 24. They're sweet. They're delicious. And uh, they have a thick, well, I wouldn't say it's a syrup, but yeah, I call it a syrup. They have a thick syrup, and this is apples in the can. And they're good, man. Always safe. It comes in different brands. I just buy the Always Save because I find that it saves me a lot of money. I normally buy the Jiffy Muffin Mix. In a small two to two color uh, blue box, but this time instead, I bought this. Why? Because they were out of the Jiffy Mix, and this is actually a bigger package. This is forty nine cents a box, as I remember right. And uh, I actually love cornbread. This is a sweet version of Grandma Ollie's cornbread that she used to make. And when I was young, I did not know the difference between cornbread and corn muffin mix. I just know that this is my preference when it's hot with butter, a little bit of pepper, throw it down with some pinto beans and rice or, or some black eyed peas and cornbread. Hmm, man, it's good. So I picked up four boxes of this. I didn't buy this because of the, the wheat and corn shortage. I bought this because I'm going to want it down the line and it's always nice to throw a corn muffin or two on somebody's plate when you're having some beans and rice which I got a funny feeling we're gonna be eating a lot of so there's that this evaporated milk also known as powdered milk when you don't have electricity, you don't have refrigeration, all the dairies are down and you're going to want milk, this is how you're going to get it. Uh, this is a smaller package than the last one I bought, but yet yeah, it's still a plastic bag. And I think that this is the last dehydrated powdered milk I'm going to buy in the bag. Because today I saw that Carnation Instant Milk comes in a round cardboard can with a resealable lid instead of this so and it's five dollars a can for the carnation instant drink i mean milk mix and it makes three quarts this makes a little more this probably makes about a, a gallon and a half i don't see nothing on it uh just non-fat instant dry milk like a pound and a half of freeze dried milk basically this was $10. So I got this. I always, always, always pick up sugar. This is sugar. I can see it going up in price. I don't really understand the whole deal with transportation and, and fuel, exactly how it works. But I think it's the more you pay for fuel, the more they have to pay to ship it. So... This is four pounds. This was almost three dollars. I, I don't mind the Always Save brand, really. I mean, I can't taste the difference. I think they save a little bit of money with that packaging. But 
on down the line when we don't have soda and you know the lucky few people that prep that they have coffee they have tea all the soda pop will be flat and we have a lot we're gonna have a lot of bottled water out there and a lot of people are gonna be using uh sawyer minis uh the live straw cups and i just ordered one of them new anti-radiation cups but you're gonna get sick of water so everybody already knows to stock up on these these are a dollar a box no matter where you shop now yeah they're full of artificial sweeteners saccharin stuff like that they say that causes cancer but here we have pineapple, grape, uh, red punch, and lemon lime, and I like them all. So right here, there is $10 of instant Kool-Aid mix, and it doesn't matter if you have the 16.9 ounce bottles or if you have the 20 ounce bottles. The singles to go, these are the bomb. They'll taste fine, regardless of what size water bottle you got or that you're drinking out of. If, if you got a 20 ounce bottle and you don't like the way it tastes when you put one of these in it, if it's too watery, get you a 16.9 uh, ounce recycled water bottle and use it instead. So there's those. And I got one more trip I'm making today, and I'll shoot another video of that if you come back and watch it. Uh, but before you're done here, we got I got a little something else for you. Don't forget when you, before you leave to hit the like and the subscribe. And uh, I got some packages here behind me. Take a look if you stuck around. Thank you. Look at here. See these packages? These are all World War III packages that I ordered on eBay. And the first person that comments on this video, I'm going to let you pick which one of these packages you want to see me open. Which one of these packages you want to see me open. First, on video. And yeah, I'm probably going to put your name out there. I have 575 subscribers and I'm going for it. No, I have 475 subscribers. 400 or five, you know somewhere in there. Anyway, I'm going for a thousand So I want to spend a little more time on my videos and uh, I need to get more comments more thumbs up more likes and more subscribes and uh, So the first person that will uh, comment on this video Well, I will open whatever package that You want me to open and we'll see what's in it and if nobody comments on this video in, uh, you know, two or three days, I'll go ahead and open them up. So, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it if you made it this far. I pray that the Lord's with you. I pray that you're prepping. And I pray that the knowledge that you need to survive is in your head. And if not, I somehow hope that you watching these videos has helped you out. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. This is Waylon with the Off Grid Grow. Thanks, y'all.